Hi, I'm Duncan with Detweiler's Farm Market, and today I'm going to show you how to fillet a whole fish. All right, first thing you got to do is remove the scales. Now, snapper scales are kind of big, so be careful. Make sure you don't get any in your eyes. Some of these scales are a little bit larger than a contact lens. I got one of these in my eyes one time, and it was no good. And one side is done. You will make a mess in your kitchen if you do this. Just be forewarned. All right, next. All right, next we're going to remove the fins. Now it's a good thing to get some uh, kitchen shears. And that's pretty much the only way to do this. You could do it with a really sharp knife, but it's a lot more difficult. Now be careful with the, thin, with the fins. These spikes right here, they might uh, prick you and they, some have been known to contain a little bit of venom there. So you really want to avoid getting pricked by the spikes. step, you're going to remove the head. Now not everybody removes the head first, but this is the way I like to do it. So once you get in there, you're going to hit the spine and you're not going to be able to cut through it. So I like to do what I call the karate chop. And third time is a charm. There we go. Now, you're going to want to clean off your work area so you don't get any scales uh, falling into the, the meat of your fillet. Spray it all off. Now, I understand you probably don't have a hose at home, so you'll probably have to make do with something else if you're doing this in your kitchen. A gentle spray on the fillet. Not too much, you don't want to saturate the skin. Now we're ready to start filleting. All right, now I always start with the top portion of the fish whenever I start filleting. I'm gonna go up just above the spine. And the key is, you wanna go cut, you're gonna wanna cut as close to the spine as possible so you don't lose any meat. You're gonna lose a little bit, it's gonna be inevitable. But you wanna go as close as possible. All right, now that we're in, I'm just going to slide the knife right through. Now I like to put a little bit of pressure on the top while rubbing this knife as close to the spine as possible. You get, it's going to feel a little bit rough, and you want it to feel rough. That means you're not losing any meat. You're not wasting anything. One fillet down. All right, now we're halfway done. This is what you want it to look like. Once we remove this spine, it's going to be almost transparent. You're going to want to be able to see a little bit through it, and that means you did a good job filleting. There's always a little bit of meat that we can take off later, too. Like I said before, you're going to lose a little bit of meat. That's just inevitable but you just want to minimize that damage. So, as you're going on the bottom, you're going to want to do this a little bit differently. You're going to be pulling the knife up against the spine instead of down, because we're going a different direction now. All right, now that we have that notch,
right. See how I did? See, I messed up there a little bit, but we can always recover that meat later. There's no reason to waste any of this. That's the pretty one. Dude, <laughs> sliding all over. All right. Now we're gonna come back to those fillets later because we gotta remove the pin bones. In the meantime, I'm gonna take care of this spine and make sure we get all the meat off of here. We don't wanna waste any of it. You're gonna to wanna to start in the middle of the spine and just cut to the side. This makes excellent sashimi. Legally, I cannot recommend that you eat this raw, but it's delicious. If you wanna cook it, it's good in the skillet. Another trick is you can take a spoon or a gloved hand and rub it against it. That way you can get all that meat from the spine. A spoon is ideal. All right, now we're going to save this and his beautiful head to make a nice fish stock later. There's no reason to waste any part of your fish. All right. All right, now we're going to remove the bones because there are some pin bones in here and you just uh, don't want to deal with that. That would ruin anybody's dining experience. So I like to cut right down the middle, right down the center of the spine. If you ever notice your fish fillets might be a little bit triangular shaped, this is the reason why. Because this just there's too much there's too much bone right in the middle of these fish to salvage. And you might need a bigger knife like this one. This is a really big fish. There's going to be some pin bones in the belly. Here's what I like to do. Few stragglers left here. Now the ideal method of removing these pin bones is using a pair of needle nose pliers. I don't have any right now, so that's why I'm not doing that. So I'm just pulling them out with my fingers. But if you have a pair of pliers at home, that is the best way of doing this. Go on to the other one. This one should be easier, it's a little bit cleaner. I do the same thing here, cut right through the middle. This is such a big fish, I'm gonna use a bigger knife. Sometimes there might be a little bit of bone right here at the top of your fish too, where the fins meet. That's totally normal. Let's get rid of that. All right, now you have two beautiful fillets, and they're easy to work with. You can grill them, bake it, put it in a skillet, do whatever you want. Now, next step, I'm going to show you how to skin it. I'm only going to skin one of these because I don't really like my fish skin, but you might want to know how to skin a fish. So, it's always good to start with the tail, and I use my fingers down here just to hold it down. And once you're in there, you're just going to pull and slide it right through. If you're cutting, you're doing it wrong. Yeah. 
All right, and that's what you want your skin to look like. Almost no meat on there at all. Now, if you fry this up and give it to your dog or cat, they're gonna love you forever. All right. So now we have our two beautiful fresh fillets, one with skin on it, and the other completely skinned for those who don't like to deal with fish skin. We have our meat that you can cook in a skillet. Very soft and tender meat right off the bone. That's probably the best part of the fish. And then we have our leftovers, which I highly recommend you don't throw away. Snapper makes an excellent fish broth, and uh, there's no reason to waste any part of your fish. It's 100% usable. So I'm Duncan Rodman with Detweiler's Farm Market, and that's how you fillet a fish.